Taj Muhyiddin will be here. He's the author of a wonderful new book on the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will be right here at ISOC to launch his new book. Uh, and the book itself will be available for purchase. Dr. Miraj will be making a detailed presentation on how to fully benefit from an, the many historical facts in this book. This is uh, really a great learning opportunity for the whole family. Uh, again, that's tonight at 7 o'clock uh, p.m. Next Friday is Family Feud Night. Uh, it's a great way to come out and have fun with the whole family. Uh, plan to be here by 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, enjoy some fun uh, and a healthy competition. Answer some Islamic trivia questions uh, and really have fun uh, as a family. Again, Family Feud Night, and that's uh, next Friday at 7 p.m. Tafsir of Surat Yasin with Sheikh Farhan Zubairi will continue on April 14th and the 21st. If your children are interested in participating in CARE's fifth annual Muslim Day at the Capitol on Monday, April 25th, that's Muslim Capital Day, April 25th, then stop by the ISOC office outside and pick up one of those flyers. Uh, the visit is a, really an ideal way and an opportunity for you to meet and learn how to be active and how to lobby your state lawmakers. I would like to remind everybody that we're, uh, we're having a campaign, uh, a monthly giving campaign. We're encouraging everybody to have automatic uh, donation. Uh, as I said in the past, set it and forget it, but Allah will never forget it. Uh, so you set it automatically and it comes out of your checking account, your credit card, whichever way you would like. Uh, and everybody should really have part of this campaign at the level that you're comfortable with. Uh, the amount that, that, you're, you, that you decide for, is right for your family. But we're looking for something that's regular, that happens every month. And to make it even super easy for you to do that, we have terminals, we have kiosks that have been installed both downstairs, upstairs, and in the main office where you just swipe your credit card and you decide on the amount and what programs you want to donate to and the frequency, and you can do all of that here. Um, so even if you happen to, if you want to make a donation and you don't have the cash, uh, you can do that very conveniently uh, just using your credit card. So whichever way, please make use of those new kiosks that we have installed. And again, there's one outside, there's one on the sister side, and there's one in the main office as well. Access California Services is here. I'll be standing at that table. Uh, the reason we wanted access to be here, they have uh, a job fair coming up on 422nd uh, if you're looking for jobs. And also there's um, a program called DACA that allows those who came to this country illegally as young children to, um, to apply for benefits and actually um, find a way to, uh, to take advantage of a lot of government programs. And I'll be at that table answering questions if you have any. And they have other services as well. Finally, we'll be praying Salatul Janazah for two sisters, um, Sister Umm Nasiha and Sister Sakina Begum. May Allah have mercy on them. Uh, may Allah have grant, grant their families patience uh, in this difficult time. However, I would ask if you're double parked uh, to please uh, be courteous to other people that may have to go back to work and that you would remove your car immediately after Salah. Uh, Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Allahu Akbar. 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وإن خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإن شر الأمور محتساتها وكل محتسة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار All praise for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the worlds and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam his last and final prophet and messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al-A'raf, Ud'u rabbakum tadarra'am wa khufiyah, innahu la yuhibbu al-mu'tadeen, wa la tufsidu fi al-ard ba'da islahiha, وَدُعُوهُ خَوْفًا وَطَمْعًا إِنَّ رَحْمَةَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ مِّنَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Call upon your Lord humbly and privately. Truly he does not love the aggressors. Do not do corruption on the earth. 
after it has been set aright but call upon him in fear and hope surely the mercy of allah is ever near the virtuous fasad and islah are the two terms that are mentioned in the quran fasad means corruption disorder disturbance fasad could be physical food get corrupted rotten so fasad could be physical uh, environment have uh, something is spoiled the environment that could be fasad in the environment but fasad is also moral and spiritual and fasad could be in the social order fasad could be in economics and fasad could be in politics fasad could be in national relations and international relations and fasad in every shape and form is evil is bad and it has to be challenged and corrected and the correction is called islah the word for islah the word islah means repair restoration correction reconstruction so islah has to be done and it has to be continuously continuously done uh, and proper islah good way of islah good way of improvement and restoration and correction uh, bring success and happiness and it makes individuals good it makes families good it makes society is good wherever there is islah there is goodness and islam is the religion of islah its basic message is islah reform of every person reform of the family reform in business that's why the quran says you have to follow the right way the quran says if have your connection in the family if you are if you do not have respect of your parent and honor of your parent and good relation with your spouses you are making fasad and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wala tufsidu do not make fasad in a similar way business when you make measurement when you sell and buy things you have to be very good correct allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cursed the people who do tatfif cheating in the business wailu lil mutaffifin alladhina yaktaru ala an-nas yastawfun wa idha kaluhum aw yazunuhum yaghsirun wo to the people who make, who make fraud when it comes to their rights they want to demand when it comes to other people's right they cheat this is fraud and this brings fasad in the land in a similar way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned firaun made fasad in the land Allah filar the and then he's Allah like what kind of in the mufsidin he was from among the people who are corrupt people so corruption has to be challenged and islah must be done and islam emphasizes that you must do islah all the time every place wherever you are you must do islah to the best of your capacity as much as you can so you read in the sur- in surah hud about shuaib alayhi salam he emphasized that point he said wama uridu an ukhalifakum ila ma anhakum an in uridu illa al islah ma istata'at wama tawfiqi illa billah alayhi tawakkalt wa ilayhi unib i do not want to do what i am forbidding you to do let me the person of islah first of all has to do the right thing he says some people don't do this and they do it himself وما اريد ان اخالفكم الى ما انهاكم عن اي دو نوت وونت تو ثينك ذات اي ام تيلينج يو نوت تو دو اي اونلي وونت تو بوت ثينكس رايت از فار از اي كان اي كان نوت سكسيد وذاوت الله هيلب 
وَمَا تَوْفِيقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ I cannot succeed except by Allah's help. I alayhi tawakkalt, I trust Him. And I was always turn to Him. Today, my brothers and sisters, today there is a lot of corruption in the world. There is corruption in the individuals who are living life, double life, hypocrisy, lying, cheating, all kind of things that you will find that in the individual. Sins abound. You see corruption in the families. Families are falling apart. Children not caring for their parents. Parents among themselves fighting. Neighbors not caring for the neighbors. And then also you see corruption in the social order. You find those, the disparity between the have and the have not is growing in the world. And so you have abuse of wealth, abuse of power, abuse of resources, abuse of the environment, abuse in every way. <clears throat> so corruption is increasing. And that's why there is so much anxiety, so much anger, so much frustration, and so much violence in the world. Allah says in the Quran, "Zahar al-fasad fi al-bar wa al-bahr bima kasabat aid al-nas, lo yuziqhum baad al-ladhi amilu, laallahum yarjoon." Corruption has spread, appeared in the land and sea. Because of what people's hands have earned, that He may let them taste some of what they have done. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Okay, this is what you do. Test it. See what your hands have done." La Allahum yarjoon. Maybe they will come back. Maybe they will remember and remind themselves and say, "Yeah, we have to correct ourselves." So correction, corruption has to be removed, my brothers and sisters. But it cannot be removed by more corruption. Those who do the work of reform, they must reform themselves, and they must live moral and spiritual life. And according to the Quran, the people of reform are those who devote themselves to Allah. Udru Rabbakum tadarrum wa khufiya inna hu la yuhibbu al-mu'tadin. Call upon your Lord humbly. Privately, he does not like aggressors. Well, I took sidu fil arde baad islahiha, and do not corrupt the, the, the order. Do not corrupt the situation. Allah want with ruhu khawfum wa tamaa, and pray to Him, call upon Him in fear and trembling, and uh, and hope. Allah's rahma, Allah's mercy is near those who do good things. This is the way to bring the reform, and there is, a, you know, there are all kind of groups in the world. They are making, they want to do something, they want to change something. So in every society, there are some groups who are unhappy, and they want to do something, some change. And we also have among Muslims in the world. There are some people who are unhappy with the situation, and they want to change it. And some of them, they are using the name of Islam. Some of them are sincere, but they, some of them are not sincere. Some of them are using the name of Islam only for legitimacy purpose, so that they become legitimate. And they claim they want to liberate the Muslim lands. They want to bring the honor of Islam and Muslims, and they use slogans, some of the catchy words of Islam that may appeal the masses: Khilafa, Sharia, Jihad. You know, they use all these terminology, and these terminologies are attractive terminologies to Muslims. They want to use that, and by using that, then they do their own. Things. And what are we seeing today? That these groups, 
whether you call them ISIS, you call them Al-Qaeda, you call them Al-Shabaab, you call them Boko Haram, all of them are haram. They're doing active activities that are haram, haram activities. And they are not doing anything except corruption in the land. Every now and then, blow up things. Killing the innocent people, which has no justification in Islam. No justification in any place in Islam to go and blow up the people. Every now and then you see that. And what it happens? It has caused thousands and thousands of Muslims are killed because of that. They killed them and they caused the killing of, the, of the thousands of Muslims in, in retaliation for that. They have created anger and suspicion against Islam and Muslims in general. Muslim minorities in India, in China, in the countries in Africa, in Europe, in America, are living, to, going through a hell, going through a lot of difficulties, suspicion, fear. And people are, there are people who are trying to exploit that. So Islamophobes, those who want to spread is the fear of Islam and Muslims, they are thriving. Their industry is growing. And every now and then they are writing things against Islam and Muslims. And people who want to run for the highest office in the land, they are also using that. In order to attract people towards them. They are the saviors of the humanity. They are the one who brings the, the, the greatness to, to the nation. And they are going to change that. And what is happening is minorities, innocent people are suffering. And their suffering is increasing. Now these people have not done, these groups who, who are doing all this violence, they have not a single good to Muslims. They have not done a single good to any Islamic cause. Actually, they have created problems for, for Islam and Muslims. It is important that Muslims understand that. You know, the Quran says very clearly that there are people who will claim that they are reformers, but they will not be reformers. When it is said to them, do not make corruption in the land. They say, we are Muslihin, we are the people of reform. We, are the bring, we want to bring change, we want to bring things good. But Allah says, Allah innahum hum mufsidun. Understand that. Behold, they are corrupt. They are mischief makers. They realize it's not. Among the people, there is a type of person, there is a group or type of person whose words, whose talk will impress you. And he even uses the name of Allah all the time. We should Allah alama fi qalbi. I'm sincere. I'm doing some that, that. We are working for the cause of Allah. They will use all these kind of slogans and names. And he is the most terrible, severest enemies. His animosity is there. And when he turns away, he creates corruption. They go, he goes and make corruption in the land. And he destroys the land and he destroys the people. Allah does not like that. Allah does not like corruption. Allah does not like mischief. If he starts said to him, Ittaqillah. If he said to him, fear Allah. Don't do this thing. Arrogance of sin makes him to do, seizes him, catches him. His place is hell. 
and that is a horrible place wala bis al mihad this is a terrible terrible resting place so it is important to understand that that these people do not represent islam these people do not represent muslims and muslim scholars thousands of muslim scholars have spoken against that yeah, one one somebody said in in one place is it one and a half million muslim scholars of the world have spoken against that there are many fatwas many books many statements many conferences where people have stated that but it's still there are people who don't understand that and they try to say that this is islam this is islamic but actually it's totally un islamic what they are, these people are doing in the name of islam or abusing the name of islam islam is the religion of peace and justice islam emphasizes the do things right things in the right way use wisdom do not spoil things but rather think correct thing alhamdulillah our masajid muslim community in america overwhelmingly stand for this this is our message this is our mission this is what we stand and those who have misunderstanding we want to tell them that talk to muslims meet with them let them come and explain to you but because some events happen here and there do not say that this is represent all islam a statement like islam is all evil islam is the enemy of america why islam should be the enemy of america muslims are living here raising their children their grandchildren making families here serving the communities wherever they are how can you say something like that these are the statement that is most unwise they are wrong and they will not they are not helpful for anybody actually they divide the people so i emphasize this point my brothers and sisters that we should serve the cause of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should do the work of reform in the right way and keep away from everything that is corrupt and be very careful who are the people who are yes, using who are speaking so that we in a sense in the right way we do the right work and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and bring us keep us on the right path wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin Alhamdulillah alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala sayyidil mursalin nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi at-tayyibin at-tahirin uh, various islamic organizations in america um, and here especially the shura council that represents uh, most of the masajid in southern california uh, we have issued a statement and we have been issuing statements and other people have done that same thing about after this event that happened in belgium and i want to tell you one brother mashallah uh, he sent me some more information about the way the community has been living in belgium the government of belgium has been very good to muslims they uh, pay for the imams of the masajid more than 300 masajids imams have been paid by the government they recognize islam as one of the religions that is recognized by the nation every school public schools they provide islamic education to muslim children there is section there now imagine the people are living this way and somebody spoils the whole thing so we have condemned that this event that have, that took place last week and of course before that we also condemned uh, what happened in arqara what happened in istanbul and other places uh, we do not only speak when the european people are suffering when somebody from the from from the west is suffering but of course it is important that everywhere wherever there is human beings are killed we have to speak against that and it has to be done this way because all human beings are the same 
It doesn't make any difference whether somebody is white or black, somebody of this race or that race, all human blood is, is important. Allah do not kill any soul. And we emphasize that. The life is important. Life of every person is important. Has to be respected and honored. Inna Allahu malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayuhu alladhina amunu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala abdika wa rasulika Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ala man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin khususan ala al-khulafai al-arba'a Abi Bakrin wa Umar wa Usman wa Ali wa ala al-sayyidain al-shahidain Abi Muhammadin al-Hasan wa Abdullah al-Husayn wa ala ummihima Fatima al-Zahra wa ala ammahi al-mu'azzaman al-mukarraman inda Allahi wa al-Nas al-Hamzati wa al-Abbas wa ala sa'ir al-Sahabati wa al-Tabi'in wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawmiddin وعنا معهم بفضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم إنا نسلك العفو العافية والمعافاة الدائمة والفوت بالجنة والنجاة من النار عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر فاقيموا الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله اللهم الله لا إله استو واستقيموا Please make a straight lines. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawm Al-Din. Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'een. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين واذ قال ربك للملائكه اني جاعل في الارض خليفه قالوا اتجعل فيها من يفسد فيها ويسفك الدماء ونحن نسبح بحمدك ونقدس لك قال إني أعلم ما لا تعلمون وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال أنبئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين قالوا سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم قال يا آدم أنبئهم بأسمائهم فلما أنباهم بأسمائهم قال ألم أقول لكم قال ألم أقول لكم إني أعلم غيب السماوات والأرض وأعلم ما تبدون وما كنتم تكتمون وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فاسجدوا إلا إبليس أبا واستكبر وكان من الكافرين وقلنا يا آدم اسكن أنت وزوجك الجنة وكلا, وكلا منها رغدا حيث شئتما ولا تقربا هذه الشجرة فتكونا من الظالمين فأزلهما الشيطان عنها فأخرجهما مما كان فيه وقلنا اهبطوا بعضكم لبعض عدو ولكم في الأرض مستقر ومتاع إلى حين فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر Allahu Akbar 
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله اكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله We'll be praying Salatul Janaza for two uh, ladies uh, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless both of them Sister Umm Nasiha Sahil and Sister Sakina Begum May Allah bless them, give patience to their family members. Inshallah, we'll have Salatul Janazah for them. Also, please remember in your dua. Uh, first of all, uh, we congratulate uh, Brother Mansur Quraish's daughter uh, who just got married before the Salat here, uh, Muniza. May Allah give her a happy life with uh, she married to Ayub Khan. May Allah bless both of them. And, and also uh, make dua for the health of Sister Rabia Imran. Uh, she is not well. Sister Saida Nafu, uh, Sayyid Jilani is in ICU. And Faraz Ahmed, uh, a young man, only about 32 years old, has suffered a massive heart attack. He is in ICU also. Uh, please make dua uh, for the health of all these people. Uh, pray for... Uh, uh, Sijuddin, who had a heart problem in, in Bangladesh, and make dua maqfira for uh, our brother Ajaz's wife, Nurul Bahar, who passed away about a year ago, and Sister uh, Mahtaj Nisar passed away in Bangalore, Sister Amatullah Begum passed away. May Allah SWT bless them, give them the place in Jannah. Allahumma shamardana wa rahamma wa ta'ana wa khtim bis sahliyati a'malana. اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية والمعافاة الدائمة والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وصحبه وطبعه اتمعين برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين So we'll have salat al and please remember tonight we'll have a very special program uh, our young uh, doctor uh, brother Mi'raj uh, son in law of uh, brother Abdul Hamid Faruqi MashaAllah, he has produced a very wonderful book that is being used all over uh, for the, on the seer of the Prophet a new way of presenting the seer of the Prophet And this program is going to be here, inshallah, after Maghrib prayer. So please come and attend that and listen to him, inshallah. He's a doctor and he has used the, the method of how doctors write their books. So 
Brother Tafsir in a very unique way, mashallah. Any members of the families are here, please you can come forward. Both families, please come here. Inshallah. Few brothers, we can accommodate you here. May Allah bless you and give you patience, inshallah. May Allah bless you, may Allah bless you. Salat al Janaza has four takbirat. I will pray for both of sisters uh, together, inshallah. And the uh, four takbirat, at the first takbir, raise your hand, hold them, and recite. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدك وجل سناؤك ولا إله غيرك. If you want to add سورة الفاتحة you can do that and then after that we say الله أكبر second time and then we say اللهم صل على محمد اللهم بارك على محمد صلاة إبراهيمية and then third تكبير and then after the special دعاء اللهم اقفل حينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وإني هذا الدعاء and then fourth تكبير and then سلام من بوسع. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا اللهم الحيد ومنا اللهم اغفر له الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله اللهم اغفر لهما وارحمهما وعافهما واعف عنهما اللهم ادخلهما الجنة اللهم ادخلهما الجنة اللهم ادخلهما الجنة اللهم إنا نسرك العفو العافية المعافاة الدائمة الفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه الطيبين المعين رحمة كيار بارك الله فيكم يلا بلس يا رب الله أدرك من حنانك بارك الله فيكم يلا بلس أبكي أبكي والله Allah bless you. 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 All